Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here and let's take a look at the input settings. So the two big questions we need to ask are what are the input settings and where are the input settings? Well, if we go to edit and down here, we go to project settings and we can click on input. So what are these input settings? These input settings are a way of Unity understanding what key we're pressing, what button we're clicking, what our mouse movement is, all that kind of thing. For example, if we go to this one right here, Fire 1, we can click it and it gives us a lot of options. So the name should really be unique, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. If there are multiple buttons that you could press, more than two for example, then you could have the same one duplicated further down as it is here. In this case, the positive button would be left control key on the keyboard or the mouse zero. And mouse zero is actually the left mouse button. So if we change and have a look at something like submit, we can see here that in this case, we just have return and we just have joystick button zero. So return, obviously, the enter key, that would be submitting something. When we come to something like, let's go to horizontal, we have left, right, A, D. So the positive button is right. So we want to move right. So we go that way and we press the right key. Or if you're using WASD, you would use the D key. So that's the positive button to go right. The negative would be A or left, and that would take you left. So there's no point in having four different directions when you can just use horizontal and vertical. Same principle applies to them, up and down, S and W. So I'm gonna collapse all those up now. And you can actually add your own if you wanted to. For example, if we wanted to set up something for the E key, we could go up here, add one to our size, and it would duplicate whatever is last in that list. And speaking of whichever one is last, it's cancel. And we all know cancel, escape, as simple as that. At this point, when we've created the new input, we would just need to name it, for example, E key. And the positive button would be E. We wouldn't need any other positive buttons and we wouldn't need any negative buttons because there's going to be no alternative. It's just the E key. That's all there is to it. Things like the dead zone and the sensitivity relate to mouse movement and you can change the type down here to mouse movement if you wanted to. So for example if we go to mouse X we can see that that is based on the X axis of the mouse so i.e moving it this way and the same will apply for the mouse Y and same will apply for mouse scroll wheel. So like I say you can add your own input settings here to kind of customize your own game. It's up to you how you want to deal with it. You can have one for the R key, T, Y, G, J, B, whatever. You know, it's, it's entirely up to you and you can do it all here in the input settings. And you just have to remember that these input settings are what Unity uses to register what you are doing with your hands, basically. So guys, I hope that clears up the input manager and the input settings a little more. And don't forget, subscribe, bell icon, stay up to date with the content. And guys, see you around.